Hey guys, we're back at it again. With a, I'm gonna react to the Elvis video, but it's different. No music. It's uh, I, I came to this title and I was kind of concerned. I'm like, hold on. Uh, celebrities Elvis couldn't stand. So I'm gonna react to this, and you guys, I don't know nothing about even if it's true or not. So each celebrity they show, you guys in the comments, let me know if it's true or not, or give me your thoughts on what you think about this. So let's get right into it. Though Elvis Presley was known to be devoted to those he loved, he also had a short temper and had little patience for those he didn't like. Here are some celebrities Elvis couldn't stand. The careers of Elvis Presley and John Lennon took similar trajectories in that both were two of among very... Hold on. John Lennon for real? He didn't like him? Nah. Right, let's keep going to see find out why very biggest names in music and in popular culture as a whole at roughly the same time further both men were big while the vietnam war was going on to say that the war was divisive is an understatement attitudes about the war extended beyond the well-publicized public demonstrations and the entire genre of music that protested the war public figures were quick to line up on either side of the debate as well okay. celebrities like jane fonda and muhammad ali publicly opposed the war while others like john wayne supported it lennon was steadfastly opposed to the war in vietnam and made no secret about obviously it. Yeah. presley however supported the war according to the express and was a big fan of then president lyndon johnson whom lennon hated for going all in on the war honey i just i just seem to keep my own personal views about that to myself when the two men finally met in 1965, their conflicting attitudes about the Vietnam War quickly came to the surface. No sooner had the Beatles entered Elvis's home than the tension between the two became apparent, according to author Chris Hutchins. Hutchins arranged the meeting and later wrote about it in the book Elvis and Lennon, the untold story of their deadly feud. He told the Daily Mail, Elvis's dislike of the pacifist Beatle was born from the night I took the Fab Four to his house for the first and last meeting. Why? Well, according to the Beatles press office, I'll let you know right now. I never knew that. In the comments below, let me know if y'all knew that. If, like Elvis had beef, really. Like, damn. I mean, everybody has beef. You know that. We all do. You know what I mean? But a guy like that. Huh. Officer Tony Barrow. Things started off on the wrong foot. Barrow told the Guardian. John asked what had happened to the old rock and roll Elvis, who at that point was mainly singing the soundtracks to his films. He was half joking, but he meant it. The tension was eventually eased by an old-fashioned jam session, but the hard feelings apparently lingered. Farrell told The Guardian, John said it had been about as exciting as meeting Engelbert Humperdinck. As for the other Beatles, they weren't exactly blown away either. I don't remember. I spent most of the party trying to suss out from his gang if anybody had any reefer. Elvis wasn't prepared to just <laughs> stew about John. <laughs> from his gang. <laughs> See, anybody had reefer. Yo, I got it, yo. <laughs> Lennon, the Beatles' anti-Vietnam War stance and the personal slight Elvis had suffered in his own home. He wanted Lennon gone, as in out of the USA. What's more, he actually went to none other than the President of the United States to get action. That's because Presley wasn't the only person keen to have Lennon silenced. The U.S. government wasn't exactly thrilled with Lennon's anti-war sentiments either. So when Elvis met with President Richard Nixon on December 21, 1970, he found... Some people say that Lennon got killed because of that because of his protests against the war and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. People say that. I, just, I read stuff about it. You know, if y'all know the truth, y'all let me know in the comments. Found a receptive audience when he tried to convince the POTUS to find a way to get rid of Lenin and the Beatles. According to the official White House meeting notes from the president's personal file, Presley indicated that the Beatles had been a real force for anti-American spirit. He said that the Beatles came to this country, made their money, and then returned to England where they promoted an anti-American theme. The president nodded in agreement, Ooh. and Elvis wasn't done lobbying for Weird. Lennon's removal. Yeah. In 1971, during a tour of the FBI offices, the king met with then-director J. Edgar Hoover. According to government records, he expressed, The opinion that the Beatles laid the groundwork for many of the problems we are having with young people by their filthy, unkempt appearances and suggestive music. Elvis got his wish, as the FBI did indeed go after Lennon, spending years attempting to get him deported in order to ensure he didn't damn... Damn, I didn't know it went that far. Holy shit. I mean, y'all seeing this, so y'all let me know if this is true or not. Like, that's crazy. I mean, it don't change nothing about the way, way I think about Elvis, trust me. People, like I said, people have their differences, you know what I mean? And the way they, you know, carry it out, that's on them. It's the way they want to do it. Damage right wing political goals through his activism. On the surface, Elvis and crooner Robert Goulet couldn't have been more different. 
The former was a boundary-pushing, controversial rock and roll pioneer, the latter an inoffensive ballad-singing performer whose presence wouldn't be unexpected on The Lawrence Welk Show. Legend has it that the short-tempered Elvis had little patience for seeing Goulet on TV, and once shot one of his television sets when he saw the crooner perform. But while it's apparently true that Elvis did shoot at TV while Goulet was performing, the rumors of a supposed beef between them may have been overblown. According to author Lisa Rogers, Goulet would later call Presley a, quote, personal friend. And as for shooting at TV whenever Goulet was on, Presley reportedly did that to scores of TVs, and it had less to do with Goulet himself and more to do with the King's short fuse and his jealousy of all other performers. He was also known to fire at the TV when other popular... Yo, people, family... Let me know what movies he was in so I can watch. You know what I mean? I would like to watch a movie of Elvis. I never watched one before, so let me know any movies. Appreciate it. Singers such as Mel Torme or Frank Sinatra appeared as well. Frankie. In fact, according to the Vintage News, Elvis's handlers kept scores of spare TVs around in case their boss happened to shoot one. That's kind of <laughs> screwy. By the middle 1950s, rock and roll was becoming a thing, with pioneers like Elvis, Bill Haley, and Chuck Berry bringing a new form of music to the masses and teenagers eating it up. This presented something of a problem for old guard musicians like Bing Crosby, Perry Como, and the like. Careers were threatened, and concerns were raised about what effect the new form of music was having on the morality of America's youth. Ooh. And Frank Sinatra, for his part, basically called rock and roll garbage. According to The Express, in 1957, what? he said of rock and roll, it fostered... He said it was garbage? Frankie boy? No, really? The fuck? There's almost totally negative and destructive reactions in young people. It smells phony and false. It is sung, played, and written for the most part by cretinous goons. Elvis wasn't about to brook being called a cretinous goon by old blue eyes. In a press conference, Elvis responded by saying, he has a right to his opinion, but I can't see him knocking it for no good reason. I admire him as a performer and an actor, but I think he's badly mistaken about this. If I remember correctly, he was also part of a trend. I don't see how he can call the youth of today immoral and delinquent. The two. I like that. He was once part of a trend. Uh, his genre of music was skyrocketing. When Elvis was out, he was part of a trend. You know, his music was blown up. Like, what the fuck? seemed to have buried the hatchet eventually, at least professionally. In 1960, after Elvis completed his time in the U.S. Army, Sinatra hosted there a TV go. special called Welcome Home Elvis. No word whether anyone shot the TV. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Mm. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stars of yesteryear are coming soon. Subscribe to... People, let me know, man. You think, you know, this stuff is true. If these are the ones you didn't get along with. It was two of them, I believe, yeah. Um, Frank Sinatra and... Uh, John Lennon. Damn, I already almost forgot. But let me know in the comments. Appreciate y'all subscribing to my channel. I mean, if you don't want to, just watch them anyways. I appreciate it anyways. Until next time, we'll see you.